Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi, we're looking at lesson 3.9, distance on the coordinate plane, and we're given the following directions. Find the distance between the pair points, and they give us two points and we have to come up with how many units they are. So let's just look at um, number one as our example. Now the first thing you want to ask yourself, are the points in the same quadrant? Is that going to be a yes or is it going to be a no? Now let's talk about why for number one we would say they're not in the same quadrant. This is a positive value and so is this. So that puts us in quadrant one. And this is a negative value and a positive value. Since positive pos positive is not the same thing as a negative positive, they're not going to be in the same quadrant. Now, if we look at question number two, we would say yes, that they are in the same quadrant. Why would we say yes? This is a positive negative, and this is a positive negative. So when it's positive negative and they're both positive negatives, then they're in the same quadrant. So in other words, if you're if you're coming up with the signs that are in front of the number and they match, then they're in the same quadrant. All right, so let's look back at the steps. Are the points in the same quadrant? You're going to decide yes or no. Now, either way, whether it's a yes or no, you want to find the coordinates that don't match, and it'll be either the x or the y, and you want to find the absolute value of both of these coordinates. So which ones don't match? The y's match. See, that matches. Those are the same value. So what doesn't match are the x's. So if we talk about the absolute value, we would write it like this. The absolute value of 1 would be 1. The absolute value of a negative 3 would look like that. Now, when they're in different quadrants, then we're going to add the absolute values. So that's add. We're not always going to add, but in this case we are. The absolute value of 1 is 1. The absolute value of a negative 3 is 3. And 1 plus 3 gives us 4. So these are four units apart. Now let's plot it on the number on the coordinate grid anyway, just to make sure that this makes sense. So if we go over, if we plot this point right here, and we go over 1, up 4, that puts us right there. And if we plot this point, we would go left 3 and up 4. And when we're talking about distance, we're talking about how long is this red line. Now since this, the Y line puts it at, at 0, this is three units away from zero on this side, and this is one unit away from zero on that side, so that's why we're adding the one plus three to get the four units. Let's look at number two. Now, in this case, we wouldn't be saying that they're, it, it, we're saying that they're in the same quadrant for number two, so that's going to be yes. We're still going to find the ordered pair, or the, uh, you know, is it the x or the y's that differ from each other? In this case, it's the x's. This is different than that. Notice that you know, the, these are the same, these are the same, these are the ones that differ from each other. So that's what we want to find the absolute value of. Now I do want to graph this to show you something. If we go, if, um, if I graph this first order pair, which is go to the right 7, to the right 7 and down 2, and for this order pair we're going to go to the right 11 and down 2. And when we ask ourselves, how long is this line? How long is that red line that I just drew? What's the distance between them? Well, if you just count, if we just count the units, this is one unit right there, that green line. If we just count one, two, three, four units. But how would I get four with the numbers that differ from each other? What would I be doing with the seven and the 11? I'd still be finding the absolute value, and I'm just going to put the one that has the greater absolute value first. So 11, the absolute value of 11 would be 11. The absolute value of a 7 would be 7. But what we do, let's go back up. We subtract the absolute value when they're in different, or rather when they're in the same quadrant. So if we subtract that, 11 minus 7 gives us 4. So the length of that line is 4. The answer to number 2 is 4 units. Now, what about number three? Number three, this is a positive positive. This is a positive negative. So they're not in the same quadrant. When they're not in the same quadrant, we're still going to find the absolute value of the coordinates that differ from each other, but we're going to add the absolute values. So which ones differ from each other? The sixes are the same, so we're looking at the four and the eight. The absolute value of a four is four. The absolute value of a negative 8 is 8. And remember, when they're in different quadrants, 
right? We're adding the absolute values. So let's look at it before we add, let's look at it on the coordinate plane. If we go ahead and plot six comma four, that means we'd be go going over six and up four. And if we plot this, we would be going over six and down eight. And if we were interested in figuring out the length of this line right here, which I need to get off and move that, this line that I just created, how long is it? Well, we know that this, this section of it, this section is four units long, and we know that this section of it is eight units long. So that's why we add four plus eight to get the distance between those two points. So that would be 12 units apart from each other. So number three, that's 12 units apart from each other. All right, so for number four, once again, we're in the same quadrant. And how do we know they're in the same quadrant? This is positive, negative. This is positive, negative. These two things are the same thing. They're in the same quadrant. So what are the coordinates that differ from each other? In this case, it's going to be the x's. So we're going to find the absolute value of 8, which would be 8. The absolute value of 5, which would be 5. And remember, when they're in the same quadrant, what are we doing? We're subtracting the absolute values. So 8 minus 5 would be equal to 3. So that question number 4, we get 3 units. Now, whenever using this shortcut fails you, then you want to go ahead and plot them on coordinate planes to help yourself understand.